Hi everyone, welcome back to Taji's World of Books and today we're doing, guess what? Another book haul. Hey everybody, welcome back and <laughs> we are doing another book haul and I've been thinking about it and I think I need to like slow down on my purchasing of books it's getting really out of control my tbr is just ridiculous if you guys want to see me do a bookshelf tour and my tbr list i can do that but i think i need to get through my tbrs and uh, or all the books that i have on my tbrs or at least half of them before i buy more books but i just can't help it i see these books and i want them and i want to remember that i want to read them so I don't know it's an issue anyway so let's just dive in so I've got a couple different sets of um, series of books you guys know I like to read in series and so we'll just go through them and see see what and, and also the other thing is you know I don't know a lot about the books that I purchase I hear of them from the various people that I watch and on Instagram and whatever and they seem interesting and so I get them and then I like to go into books like totally surprised and I'm like, oh my God, that's amazing. So anyway, so the first set series that I want to go through is these are like short. So like, I think I can like knock these out, all three of these out in a morning. But um, this is the Element of Retrofit Fit series. So it's actually, it's called the Thomas Elkin series. So there's three books in the series. This is um, Elements of Retrofit. The second book is Clarity of Lines, and then the third book is Sense of Place. So I'm not gonna go into the last three because those are, you know, continuations, and so we really just care about the first, and then we'll go into that. So my understanding is that this is a successful New York architect. His name is Thomas Elkins, it's his series. He is recently coming out of a divorce. He was married for quite a long time. He comes out as gay. This is the first time so that he's like living his life as a gay individual. His, he has a, a son from the previous relationship and I believe that this is a forbidden romance in the sense that I heard it's very sweet and it's like very like it's written really well and it's a very cute like love story but it's a forbidden romance in the sense that this is the person he falls for is the, his son's friend. That's what I believe. And I believe that the son's friend, who's an, an, also is an architect or a junior architect in his firm, is like the aggressor. And he's the one who is like pursuing him. So from my understanding, and his name is Cooper, and he's 22, so it's an age gap. And um, he's talented, he's driven, he's definitely the definition of a millennial. And so... As he starts his internship working in Thomas's firm, Tom, Tom gets knocked off his axis by Cooper because Cooper is going to challenge everything that he knows and everything that he wants. And so I heard it's really good. I heard it's really sweet. And I'm seriously excited about it. So I think it's going to be cute. Okay. So I think... I don't think I know exactly what happened. What happened? This is, let me t let me tell you what happened. What happened was I read S. E. Stevens right Thoughtless series and it was a rock star romance and I was like oh, the rock stars I love and for those of you who don't know me, um, any guy that I've ever dated in my real life um, before I got married and even even my husband were all musicians. <laughs> They were all musicians in some right. One was a singer, one was a guitar, no, yeah, one guitarist, two drummers. Like, I have a thing for, for like rock stars and like, they weren't rock stars, let me not say that, they weren't rock stars, but they were musicians. I have a thing for musicians, I have a thing for long hair, I have a thing for tattoos. I love bad boys, I just do. Having said that, I read S.C. Stevens, and it was a rock star romance and I was like all in. So I was like, oh my gosh, like I need some more rock star romances. So I found um, Kylie Scott's, um, and this is the stage dive novels. And I think I'm missing one of this. So I have Lick, Play, and Lead. And I believe there's one book in between, in between this series. Let's, 
Oh, I'm so all in. So apparently this is <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but not for Evelyn Thomas. So Evelyn goes to Vegas. She's planning on celebrating her 21st birthday like no other. She wants to bring it in like a rock star. And apparently she does. And she wakes up the next morning on the floor, hungover, naked, and she's got a half naked tattooed man in her room and a diamond on her finger and she has apparently married this dude and it's their then story of like what happens and so she finds that she now is married to one of the hottest rock stars on the planet and she is like gonna try to figure it out and so I believe that these are their it's their story now so it looks like all right, so then it seems like what's going to happen is that these are companion novels. So that this is their story. This is then the drummer of the same band and his story with his girl. And then this is the lead singer. Yeah, this is the lead singer's story of the band. So, and I and I like I said, I think that there is a fourth novel in the story. So it looks like each book follows a different um musician in the band and their story so I'm excited about starting this and I will obviously tell you how it goes oh the other thing so previously I had talked about this um fantasy sci-fi series I had re I had gotten end of days and then um the world after but Angel Fall had not come in so Angel Fall has come in and so this is an apocalyptic world where there's demons and angels and a 17 year old girl. This is a YA, but it's also there's Rafe and he is a warrior and he is injured. And so they then join forces to try to combat the evil between the battle between the demons and angels. I heard it's a very good series. It, I And it was one that I told you, remember I said that the Instagram made me do it. This is one of the series that, um, that came up as a fantasy romance YA top favorite. So the final book in that series has come in and I got it. All right. So then to go back to Kylie Scott, when I was on there, and I hate when they do this. Look, look at this. And I've got to try to figure out how to get this off. But Kylie Scott had a couple of other books on her, on Better World books that were like $3 and something. So I said, I'm just going to round out my order. And so this is a part of her Dive Bar novel. And this one is called Dirty. And this is about Lydia who is getting ready to get married finds out that the love of her life is having an affair and she finds this out on her wedding day and so she basically is a runaway bride and so as she's a runaway bride she runs into Vaughn and Vaughn then is the opposite of the respectable businessman guy that she was planning on marrying but because of they they run into each other literally he runs her off the road when she's running away from this marriage when she finds out that her partner was cheating she runs into Vaughn he's this rock star dive bar kind of guy then she thinks well I did everything right I went after Mr. Right the straight laced business guy and now this is like a tattooed you know long haired dirty kind of musician type guy so like maybe I should go for Mr. Wrong as opposed to Mr. Right and so the story takes off from there I'm not sure how many books are in I think that there are a couple of other books in this series it seems like Twist is going to be the second book in this series but I'll take a look at it and see but that's what I got from Kylie Scott okay so the next book that I picked up is Silence and I'm super excited about this. Oakley is the main character and she's been silent for 11 years because there was a traumatic thing that happened in her childhood and as a result of this traumatic thing, she shut down and stopped talking. She has a friend, his name is Cole and Cole is the one who protects her fights for her, grows close to her, is the person who is around her and is near her all the time and keeps her safe. And as a result of this, they grow close 
and closer and closer and it's their love story of him bringing her out and her working to help him to overcome some of his demons i heard that it's beautiful i heard that it's very well done and it just seemed like something that i was like gonna like rip your heart out and then put it back together again and i was like why not let me let me get all in so this is written by natasha preston and so i'm super excited to try this so that's that okay so then because i thought S.C. Stevens, I loved her Thoughtless novel. I was like, well, let me go back to her backlist and see what she's got on her backlist. And so I heard of Collision Course. And this one seemed to be really, really good. So this one sounds like Lucas has everything going for him. He has a devoted girlfriend. He's got a best friend. His mother will do anything for him. He's got popularity. He has everything going for him until the day that he, that everything changes and everything changes with a collision and a crash. And, um, and apparently it's like late one night, there's a downpour and three lives coincide and everybody's lives are turned upside down. And now Lucas is, as a result of this crash, rumors surround him. He's shunned by his best friends. He's a social pariah. He's an outcast. And you, and it's the story is unfolding to discover what happened that night, what happened during the crash, and what's the aftermath, and what's the truth. And I heard that this is, like, gut-wrenching, amazing, really, really riveting, like, page-turner on the edge of your seat. And S.C. Stevens knows how, she knows what, what readers want. And so she delivers it in a really realistic and believable way. So I was like all in and I'm really excited. I might push this up on my TBR and read it sooner rather than later. So I'm super excited to check out Collision Course, a novel by S.C. Stevens. And I sort, I went, and it has really high ratings on Goodreads, right? So when I looked at all of the books that S.C. Stevens has written, her Thoughtless novel and Thoughtless, the book, not just the series, that book is like number one in terms of her highest ratings and then all the other thoughtless come in and then the next highest rating is this book as well. And so I thought, okay, I'm all in for that. All right, and so then the last two books that I got are also S.C. Stevens novels and these are, this is book one. So I got a couple of these and so they're gonna kind of stagger in as I get them, but again, I got them as place marks. So this is book one in the conversion series. And my understanding is that this is a paranormal. Let's see. So it sounds like Emma, again, promising career, life is moving forward, amazing family. She's got a lot of things that she's looking forward to in her life. And then she meets the enigmatic um, guy who he's single, successful, an extraordinary gentleman, but he's also secretive. And some of his secrets are more unusual than most people. For instance, he is, quote unquote, a little bit vampire. He has fangs, incredible hearing, unbelievable speed. And on occasion, he enjoys drinking a steaming cup of blood. But he's also very much alive. He has a heartbeat. He loves steaks as well as cappuccinos. So basically it goes, this is Taryn and Emma's book. And, and this one, Love, Sacrifice, and the Eternal Family Bond. So it looks like, and then this one, I can see that this is about Julian and Nika Adams. So this is a companion novel to this. This is book four in the series. So again, the conversion series, I looked at Goodreads and I wanted to see which series has the best ratings on Goodreads. And so for S.C. Stevens, so the next after Thoughtless was this, and then this series has really high ratings as well. And I thought Paranormal and Vampire, I'm all in, why not? I like, I've read other paranormal romances that I love and were good, and so I'm there for it. Okay, so that is all that I have for today. I know you all love a good book haul, just like I do, but I gotta slow down because it's getting a little crazy, but it's always been like that. So what can you say? We all love books. All right, that is all I have for today. 
If you haven't liked and subscribed, please like and subscribe and come and hang out with me. It really helps my channel and it makes a big difference and I so appreciate the support and every time I see a like and a subscribe, I get so excited and so happy. I love bringing content to you guys. I wanna keep doing it and I hope that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And you know, I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video and which will be my weekly reading wrap up. So I will see you then guys. Bye.